We're going to be making a material called a polymer today. We're using a mixture of Elmer's glue and water, and then we're going to add some color to it to make it just the perfect color. Stir. Stir it up. Very right. carefully. And you'll notice it's a liquid right now. We're going to add another liquid to it. So while I'm adding, go ahead and stir and stir and stir. Let's go ahead and put it down on the table so we can see what happens. Ready? This is water with a little bit of borax in it. Okay. Let's see what's happening. You want to lift that up? Oh, oh sorry. Your popsicle stick. Ooh, okay. Why does it do that? Why does it do I'm glad you asked. It's the ingredients in the glue and in the borax. If you think about them when they're separate, it's like people in this room just sort of talking to each other, wandering around. But when we mix them together, it's like all the people have started holding hands and crossing their hands. So it's, they're getting stronger and stronger and becoming a solid material. So as Pam keeps stirring there, it's all going to get solid. And this, there you go. So she's got a sticky, ooey gooey, or we like to call it sticky icky. And the more you stir, the more solid it becomes. How fun. Yeah. <laughs> so now you can take this, pull it off the stick, and roll it around in your hands. <laughs> and toss it. Yes, and actually, yeah, if you watch it, see how it, it starts to separate? And then I can put it back in my hands and roll it back together. And make it Sticky icky. <laughs> and you can do this at home. Lots of different kinds of polymers. Some of them are real rubbery, like chewing gum. Some of them are sticky, like the back of your sticky notes. Some of them are real hard, like our container here or the plastic on your cell phone. We use polymers in our seed treatments. So we mix a specific polymer, we mix pigments and our crop protection products all together and it's the polymer that makes it all stick to the seeds. So they're very important in life and especially here at Fair Crop Science.